All right, this is the second location. It took me a little while to find it. And because uh, it's been a week and I'm not familiar that much with the area. My, uh, the beaver meat that we put in there is gone. It's lit clean. You can even see that the wood is lit clean inside of here. So I'm gonna stick another beaver leg in. And this one has a screw. So I'm actually poking it into the screw so it doesn't go away. And uh, let me go ahead here and wrap the, uh, uh, my, my uh, wrap me an extension here around this tree. And again, this is, I could, I could put a stake here, but it's really about the bears from what I'm understanding. So I don't need to deal with that. So if he t when the bears come along and they open up the box, rip it up, whatever, what have you, the uh, thing about it is, is the trap itself is uh, still gonna remain here. So the box could be all tore up all at once, but the good news is we don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna go ahead. There we go. So I got it fastened around the chain, around the tree. Let me put a quick link here real quick. And uh, that's what, that's very exciting. Now it could be weasels that also stole my meat. Uh, as I understand, there's also shrews and my, you know, we know mice. So it could be a lot of things that actually came in here and took the bait. It's not a sure thing. And uh, making sure my, yep, my uh, trigger here is actually bent the way I want. I'm going to bend it up a little bit because we, all right. Now I'm going to talk about this location here in just a second and uh, why, why it's a good spot for Fisher Pine Martin. And, and from everything I'm hearing uh, from John is telling me that this is really your Fisher country. So it is what it is. Uh, not saying I won't catch a Fisher. Won't, I won't catch a Fisher, but uh, it's really Martin country. Let me turn that the other way. There. All right. Safeties are still on while I'm putting it in. There we go. I gotta set it in. There we are. Nice. Put this. I'll put that underneath the box. And put on my cover. And I got to make sure that this trap is positioned all the way in the back. I don't want any, I don't want anybody saying there that uh, I didn't allow enough room between the opening and that, even by a half an inch. There's my wing nut. That's good. I'm going to position this chain underneath of the trap and the drag, or and the uh, not the drag, but the thing. So let me set this up here and kind of give it a backing against this back. And we're going to cover it up a little bit. There. Dang it. That went off. I have to redo it. A little bit wide. I think I'm catching the meat. All right, another take. So I'm going to set the trap. And this is a, I've done it once, and this is a very jumpy little old trap here. Gosh dang. Find a happy medium in here somewhere where it sits in a groove.
Can't believe it didn't go off on that. Sit that there. Let me gently move it back. <laughs> this old trap. I tell you what, I think if a mouse goes in it, it uh, it's going to fire. Clean this area up and let me set it back. Taking off the triggers. Let me wedge some stuff underneath. Just to give it a little more support. That's pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead here and cover it a little bit. Try to prevent them from running on top of it. There we go. I think I'm done. I'm going to stick a little call in here. Little Martin call. There. Got him going in. Thank God. <laughs> All right. On top of this tree right here. I have some some uh, uh, long distance call smeared in. So let me just grab a stick and let me rub that and open it up again. And we'll set it down here beside our box. There we go. Now, there's the box. It's ready for the next Martin to come through. And I got high hopes. It could happen in a few days. So I got a five-day check, but I'll probably come back and run some of these because uh, time is important to me. But let me talk about the area. Uh, dark woods is a good thing. Brook streams. And uh, what makes this area kind of nice is uh, we got a lot of salient features here we have trees that are falling over a lot of trees uh, there's a lot of trees over here falling over so really nice hunting areas for the martin and the fisher so uh anyway that's the reason we'll come over here i'm going to show you the brook that also adds to this and I ought to go get a a conibear bear here and set for a mink. I think I might. This is a good, there's some good pinch down spots here. So I think I can do a bottom edge type of deal and see if I can't get myself a mink in this little old brook. But the brook, mature trees, and a lot of salient features, you know, uh, in your area. A lot of deadfall. So that's what, that's why I set it here. Uh, stay with me and we'll keep going. <laughs> 